Welcome back, you guys. This is Tisindra. Continuing my Hoi 4 Kaiserite campaign as the Kingdom of Siam. And there was a, an update, as I said before, in Hoi 4. Uh, the Fork, I think it was called. 181. And, and Kaiserite also did update theirs to match the patch, but it was not an update to Kaiserite. I'm just hoping there are no issues. Because sometimes that happens, and it it's very, very annoying. But so far, so good. Right, we hadn't picked a focus. Right, 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 right. The game looks a bit different. Maybe that's just me. Um, Going for steel would be interesting. Like, getting to the bottom here is... Like, this is really good. But it's got a lot of shit associated with it. Let's reform the judicials. Judicial reforms. Yeah, let's try to start some reforms. It's fine. Let's put it on speed 5 and try to get some progress done today. Uh, it is 1939, so World War II should kick off. Yep, right about now. So, they're demanding Alsace Lorraine, which they're never going to get. So, this should be the start of World War Dos. And we should be able to start fabricating on people now. You're still being guaranteed. Indochina we could go after. We could go after Indochina. I don't see why not. Let's see if I'm gonna give you a martial... Sure. What if I do this? If I do... If I delete this... And I delete this. Attach you to this guy. I'm going to see if I can do just a martial push. And see if he does it smart. Because usually they don't. They do it very stupid. Let's see what happens if I do this instead. Um, so, please, World War II, kick off. Get me to 75 so I can start fabricating. There's the ultimatum. And they're going to reject it. Hey, would you look at that? It's like I've played this many, many times before. And 100%. Okay. So, you guys are going to join this one. And you have... We don't care about this? We're not fighting the French. Why did I get war propaganda against them? Justify war goals. Conquer. Laos. Yeah. I'm going to start fabricating on them. And let's see if somebody decides to um, guarantee them. I hope not. Are you still guaranteeing Burma? Yeah. I don't. I don't like that they did that. Why? And the French Republic. So the Entente and the Rights Pact are fighting the International. But remember, they are a bit stronger before uh, right now because they got Argentina, Norway, and Sweden. Denmark joined the Rights Pact. That's interesting. But I believe there is... Ooh. There is no crossing. There is a crossing. Into Scandaland. So you don't actually have to take the ocean. Two Sicilies has joined the Rights Pact. Meaning they have a front over here as well. Interesting. Very, very interesting. People are picking sides right now. I don't know why Bulgaria decided to do this. Oh, Bulgaria gave up some land. They've lost some land, and they've given that back to their neighbors. Okay. Okay. Russian Republic is losing. Well, they're fighting three wars right now. And he's probably going to continue pissing off more people. Okay. Okay, so this is going to take um, 115 days more. So let's not worry that much about it, but let's... Um, I want to expand. And I think I want to keep this land. Um, there is a lot of manpower here. I could make them into a puppet and then have them make troops for us. Like, they have rubber. Yeah, they don't have that much that I need. How many factories do they have? Ten. Yeah, I'm thinking you're more valuable as a puppet than as a... Um, 
as conquered land. I could be wrong though. So phase one is complete of this. I could dump more points into this. Hey! Spanish Civil War over. And the kingdom has won. Now they're gonna pick a side, I imagine. If they join the Internationale, but this is this is the kingdom, they're probably gonna join the right spot. Meaning France is gonna fall pretty quickly. And the Austrians have also declared war. So you're fighting three factions right now. You're fighting the Germans, the Austrians, and the Entente. Yeah, I'm thinking the Internationale is not gonna last long here. Put this into here. I'm gonna upgrade all my guns. Uh, uh, we don't care about this. Wait, West Indies. That's um, that belongs to the Entente. Meaning that, yeah, you are now fighting the Entente. Huh. So, these guys are basically fascists. That's what national populists were. That's the new one. Ultra-nationalists. So, they're probably going to take the West Indies pretty easily. Unless they have to take the islands. They, they cannot compete with the Entente's navy. There's no way. Yeah, you're not even close. I think Brazil is not going to survive this. I don't know why this happens as well, like the, this like tumor-ish thing here. It's ugly. It's really ugly. Denmark and the coming of France. So Denmark, what? Oh, they dropped out of faction, okay. So they pieced out. Okay, interesting. Boss of pussies. <laughs> Denmark, come on. You're going to be fine. You've got Germany supporting you. Why would you give that up? And it looks like Italy. The socialist part of Italy. Is uh, taking some stuff here. No, never mind. This is French Republic. Never mind. You guys have not picked a side yet. Maybe they do that after consolidating? Maybe. Uh, our place in the world, then yeah, okay, then they do that. Okay, that's fine. Let's upgrade our artillery to better. Let's uh, research something smart. We have the guns. We're basically done with this for a while. Yeah, let's get the radio for the reinforce rate. Uh, I could dump some points into stuff here. I kind of want the Chief of Army as well before I go to war. I think I can get to 150 before we are done here. Yeah, we still have 75 days to go. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to have some judicial reforms. Centralized Police Command. So stability goes up by 5 from this. Okay. And this is like the Siamese Department of Secret Intelligence. That seems smart. I don't know if that's going to completely prevent any rebellion from happening, but we should have like a central intelligence agency. Or just an intelligence agency. This will ro lower the risk of a successful something, something, something. Move. Of a successful rebellion against Siam, Thailand by separatists. Okay. I don't know if that's a real threat, but uh, I think I'll just take it. Uh, I'm, I've been wondering if I should take medium tanks. Because we have tungsten, but I don't think we have the factories for this. Uh, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I have a boost for it. It's way ahead of time. That was like 1940 tech. 41 tech even. But it's, it's just going to take us 200 days, so it's not that bad. And our cap is mostly there on some of these things, at least. And light tank 2s. We could add them. Let's see, if I add armored and light tank and I drop you... We don't have enough tanks. We need... We need a lot more. We need almost 3,000 tanks. 
for our 48 divisions. Okay. I'm gonna need more than one factory for that then. We're making six a week. That's not even one a day. Uh, what if we do this and we do this? I'm gonna drop you by one. I wanna keep you as well. I wanna get to 200 planes. Yeah, that's good. I kinda want 400 though. I want both of them to have their own um, fighters. So, this is almost there. Less than 50 days. And yeah, we're gonna get our uh, army command. Army command? Chief of army, before this. Oh yeah, it looks like yeah the Ottomans lost their war, so they're now Turkey. But they kept the land they took from Bulgaria, though. Okay, so you're looking pretty strong right now, because the Cairo Pact. Yemen seems to have left you. There is an invasion. Oh. Okay. You should probably focus on the Italians first. They are the weakest over there. They are invading Norway as well. Zanzibar joined the Cairo Pact. Isn't that like... The Zanzibar, yeah, that's a small island over here. Jesus. They don't even have factories. They don't even have factories. How does that happen? Ooh, the CSA are fucked. So Chicago has fallen. There's just Detroit left. This is should they should try to wrap this up quickly because if the U.S. is allowed time to regroup, they can push. They just need this. They can push all the way through here. PSA are ooh, all adults serve. You had to go that far. I mean, you don't have as many factories as he does. Wait, they have fewer factories than just like New England over here. That is bad. Why is there no production in this area? But yeah, they have to get all the way to Detroit to uh, do anything. And it looks like that's not going to happen soon. Mm -hmm. Mongolia is almost done over here in Shangqing. Uh, why do I always zoom in way too close? There we go. Um, yeah, you don't even have factories left anymore. You've got manpower, but that's not gonna last. Escalate the propaganda war. Are you trying to break free? Because you could take Rihar here. This will push a fight against Mongolia. If they take this, they will try to take, uh... Jahar? So they already have it. Where's Jahar? Hmm. I don't know. Chari Emirate. They're all joined the Cairo Pact. Why though? So Sanzibar and the Chari Emirate. Uh, Brazil peaced out with Canada. That's probably smart. I don't even know why they did that. I think they gave them this land over here? Like, this used to belong to the West Indies. Yeah. East Guinea. Guyana. So they gave that up just to peace out with Brazil. And I took guns and butter for more organization. So... And yeah, we're basically a few days away from going to war with Indochina. I want to tell you guys to push and just be on balance. That's fine. We'll see how smart this field marshal is. You're almost done as well. This gives us more stability. Thank you. Okay, so we can take this. I kind of want to. I kind of want to have this. If there's a rebellion, I don't want it. Because I don't think the rebellion that I want is going to happen. That is, the syndicalists rise up. And if they have a default focus tree, then I don't even want it to begin with. Ho Chi Minh Trail. Really? 
Okay, so let's go ahead and attack you. You have not been guaranteed by anybody. Okay. Can I do a force attack? Yes, I can. I can do it on one of you. But I don't know if I need to. It's fine. We'll see how this goes. I'm getting green all over except up here. But that's mountains? Yeah, we're fighting into mountains. That's going to need some encirclement. It's 1v1 though. 1v2 here. I don't think we need to micro this. Do they even have boats? They don't have boats and they don't have planes. So we have air superiority. Oh, beautiful. It didn't take much. 200 planes. But this does concern me a bit. It's just our planes. Our planes are actually causing us to run out of fuel. Which is just bad. Like, just get rid of this. I'm not going to prop this. I don't think I need this. Emergency capital relocation. No, no, no. We don't need that. Negotiate peace with the enemy? No. Destruction of the Singapore Causeway. Is he talking about like this? Has full control of Singapore. Okay, so I destroy something in Singapore? Is he, is he talking about the connection here between these two? Being the only land route between the mainland and Singapore. Uh, I don't even know what this means, but I'm not going to take that. Continue the electrification program. Damn, that is very, very nice. It's four factories, but the stability and output, construction speed, this is all very, very good. I think I'm going to save up for this. So let's see here. We could give you a trait. Uh, let's give you charismatic. Let's give you infantry expert. Thank you. That's all. Oh, these are really good traits. You don't have one yet. But let's see here. You have infantry leader almost done, so you're going to have infantry expert very soon. Followed up by engineer, which is not bad. Engineer is... Um, is it over here? Where's the engineer again? What the fuck? Alright, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we got the radio. Reinforce rate is up. 1940 tech means, um, yeah, computing machine. Yeah, I'm going to make this into a puppet. I might cut them up into two puppets. But we'll have to see. You guys no longer have a push here. Okay, now you do. Okay. Yeah, because it got cut off by the impassable terrain here. Saigon is about to fall. Let's see here. They still have... We have 1%. We have not taken that much. Nothing important, at least. So I'm going to click you. Tell you guys to push like this. And then go. Hey, we took Saigon, which is... Not as much as I'd hoped. We have to take Hanoi, it seems. This is going to be a stack wipe. Um, you are not taking this land over here. Yes, you are! Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, there's, there's 14 divisions on this. They don't need to be that many. It's, it's a single guy. Oh, they'll fix themselves, I hope. If I do like this, how's that gonna... Yeah, that's probably better. You are almost done over here. You can take this. Well, Scott has joined the Entente. I don't think that's gonna change anything. Nope. That's actually... No, that's happened in my last campaign as well. But yeah, it didn't change anything. I think actually it gave... The Germans an airport close to me to keep bombing me, which was annoying. Yeah, okay, so they're dead. Good, good, good. Q. 
keep a pushing. This is... you can take this, guys. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's take the field marshal. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna micro this. Okay, okay, okay. Um, there, how many are here? 17 divisions. Iran declares war on Azerbaijan, so they're gonna control even more oil now. Because I think the only thing Azerbaijan has is oil. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so there's 22 of you here? This is weird. How the field marshal does this, I have no idea, but he's doing a bad job of it. Yeah, we still have factories here. Um, tanks. Let's do here, and let's do here. And... Yeah, let's do... No, no, no. I want the tanks higher. I want to get my tanks up to uh, what I need them to be. This is fine. I can import more stuff later. I like that I did not have to go aggressive on this. Ooh, you got injured. You can go infantry expert. Very, very nice. Did the uh, field marshal get anything? No, but he's almost level 3. And I can always pick one of these. I'm going to go offensive doctrine, I think. Can you guys just charge through here? Ooh, are we going to get a pocket? I think we are going to get a pocket. Because this mountain is not falling. It's, it's mountain and a city? No, nah, it's just mountain. Alright, SDSI is done. We can integrate the police command. Mexico declares war on Central America. I'm gonna take the uh, the steel. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and wipe you out. You've got two divisions and one. They technically have a city here, so their supply is not gonna be zero. Apparently their supply is fine. That's weird. Now there he goes. That one city is supplying you that much? Usually the penalty is 33%. And it looks like they're breaking out over here. Mm, can you take this and then respond? Are you moving here? Yeah, you are. Okay, now they moved. Okay, good, good, good. There we go. So you guys are gonna push up the shore. I could put them all on aggressive. You did not gain a trait slot when you leveled up, okay? That's annoying. But it's fine. Okay, the city finally fell. Good, good, good. Do I put them on aggressive? It feels like this should be over by now. <laughs> Resistance to occupation. Uh, no, we're not going to worry about this. I'm going to take off that I'm paying for anything. That did take away a factory from me, though. That sucks. But it's okay. So you guys are not moving. Fine, we'll put you all on aggressive. There we go. Just wrap this up. So, um, Yunnan. We could go after them next. Yeah. Let's go after Yunnan next. At some point, I want to go after Burma. But when we go to war, it looks like we have to go to war with the Germans at some point, because we have the AOG here. Unless we go through Burma and into the Baraja Commune. But they're still being guaranteed. There's no way to drop this. Ooh, you pieced out. Okay, so they gave up a bunch of their land to Japan. And they're probably gonna, yeah, give it to Transamore. Okay, so this land that they lost is useless, by the way. It is. Let me just go up here and, and cleanse all of this. 
No, 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 can you go down? No, go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just pocketing everything here. Beautiful. So what do we have left? We've got one dude. And it looks like the tribes are ri rising up against the French Republic. That's not. That's just going to slow them down a bit. It's not going to matter that much. And Hanoi is within reach. I think we've wiped out a lot of these. They've got about 10 divisions left. After this one, no, that's that's most of their divisions gone. Come on, wipe them out. There we go. So what do you have? Yeah, not much. Eight divisions, and we're attacking your capital. Or your second capital. Which is worth what? Eight. What was Saigon worth? Nine. Okay, yeah, that's it. Once we take Hanoi, that should be all we need. Okay. Well... See casualties. We took forty-two thousand casualties. We're almost done, but I'm gonna say we took forty-two thousand casualties. Um, okay, so that should be it. I hope. No, it's not enough. Huh? That's weird. We're gonna have to pay a bit of political power and stuff to. Uh... No, we're gonna puppet them. We're gonna puppet them, so it's fine. Uh, okay, so are they actually entrenched? Why is this so difficult? They've got a 3% entrenchment. That's not entrenchment. They're... You should be able to just drive through them. Uh, infiltration. And I'll spend the points here. The army experience. Okay, third and final capital, maybe-ish? Yeah, yeah, they're dead. And this is all impassable terrain, so we're not getting... Wait, there's one trail through the river here? That's... that's annoying. And you fell ill. Right at the last second. The war is almost over. Are we done? I guess not. Really? They just fight to the death. We're at 99%, so we have to take every single province you have? That seems overkill. Yeah, we have to actually take every single province from you. We literally have to wipe you from existence to conquer you. That's hardcore, man. Who's this dude? General Hong Wan Wutai. Ah, uh, yeah, I probably butchered that. Support this. They declared war on Qing? Isn't that gonna piss off Germans? Nope, they're not being protected by the Germans. Come on, you got this. Jesus, how hard can it be? There's one guy, no, two guys left here. And boom, okay. Jesus, what's happening? How are they getting these people? That guy just popped out of nowhere. <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Hey, we got our mines a bit bigger. I'm gonna give it a second before I choose another one, because I want to get this war done. ASAP. And we have plenty of time to choose. And there we go. War over. Give me that peace deal. Put it on speed 4 here. Okay, so. Take all states. And turn. Done. I'm going to change you all back to balanced. And yeah, you all changed back to balanced. Okay, so. Uh, I want to go with... Hmm. Let's get the research slot. We should probably get the pop-up for... Let's see here. Trade mission from the Republic of Australasia. The government of the Republic of Australasia has approached us regarding the possibility of a new bilateral trade agreement between our countries in return for dropping the tariffs in place currently restricting imports. They promise to do the same for Siamese goods. What, what are they? They are paternal autocrats. But it's political power and I don't really mind. They're not fighting me. Sure, we'll trade with you. 
there's no pop-up happening for... Hmm. Why is there no pop-up? That's a weird... It's ahead of time. Uh, 1940. What do I do? I'm gonna take you. This is expand stuff. I kind of want to electrify stuff before. I guess I'm keeping this. There's no pop-up for integrating or puppeting the Indo-Chinese. Maybe because they didn't start out as a nation, but that doesn't make any sense. So we basically have... Yeah, we've got countries here, of course, but in... I suppose that's fine. I'm gonna get 200 points. And we're gonna go ahead and electrify... Continue the electrification program. Thank you. And we're gonna go ahead and pause it here. So, we have wiped out the Indo-Chinese Union, but we did not get a pop-up for making them into anything. Which I suppose is okay. I'm gonna fix all of this later. And we have already started preparing to go after Yunnan. Which should be interesting. It's a lot of mountains, so I imagine it's going to be a very slow war. But we'll have air superiority, which is good. But after that, we're going to be bordering Mongolia. I don't know what they're up to. We could technically, like, bypass Burma and, uh... I don't know, we could go into Mongolia. We could go after them. They're quite strong. But I think we can take them. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode, but... Until then, see you, and thanks for watching.